Hi everybody and welcome back to another Sophia's Bodily Wisdom video snippet and this one is a Kriya for solving communication issues. This can be used for solving your own internal communication issues and this is something that I can very easily find myself in. It's like a state of confusion and when it's really full on I find that I cannot actually finish off my internal sentence. I seem to jump from one contemplation, one attempt of trying to figure it out to another and that's when I know I have to stop and come and do something like this. So it's for the, uh, your, your own internal communication struggle and of course when it's happening outside in your relationships, at work, within your family, with your friends. It's a perfect uh, little career to do when it's Mercury retrograde when uh, other uh, external examples and expressions of communication aren't working like emailing and texting and phone calls and even things like travel. Mercury also affects travel, being able to travel directly and, and smoothly. And so it's for that uh, very chaotic, spinning, spiraling mercurial energy. Mercury is a very small planet and it whips around the earth much faster than the others and it leaves us spinning like whoa <laughs> what was that? <laughs> so it's, it's for that kind of energy. So this is it people please pay attention to the mudra it's a little bit technical. So the thumb pad. In yogic philosophy, the thumbs relate to our own earth energy and the root of our ego structure. So our thumb pads touch because it is us that we want to be working on, our earth dense energy. Our little fingers correspond with the planet of Mercury and the little finger is very much uh, associated with our throat chakra, our ability to speak well and clearly and when working with the little finger you're always working on that mercurial aspect of us communicating which is both speaking and listening. The first and second fingers come together and are erect and point up and the ring fingers bend in at the knuckle but they do not touch the centre of the palm. So when I look down they're about half a centimetre away from the palm. So that is the mudra two fingers they don't touch, ring fingers doesn't touch, the only things that are connecting and touching are the thumbs and the little fingers. And this sits in front of the heart and the two erect fingers point up. At the beginning this is very comfortable and wonderful but after a while, once the old magnetic field starts ramping itself up, these two fingers are going to want to collapse in on each other and form a little arch so that no effort has to be maintained and that is not how to do it. What we have to do is just keep stressing them apart which puts a nice little bit of charge and ampage into the hand mudra which will have a corresponding effect in the two hemispheres of the brain. 
Whenever you have a tense, erect and purposeful hand posture, you know that you're working on the brain centers. If you have a limp and wet and whimsical hand posture, you're not really doing anything. Hands relate to hemispheres. So this is the posture. The eyes are closed and you are looking into the third eye point with your consciousness and your optic nerve. And the way you get your optic nerve involved is to actually use your eyeballs to also follow the direction of the third eye point. And that will give you a little bit of tension in your forehead as if you are just about to start going cross-eyed. And that is what we want, a little bit of tension. The instructions from Yogi Bhajan is to listen to some meditative music. Something that's going to bring us into a state of serenity, calmness. We don't want to get too impassioned. It's not about stimulating the emotional body per se. It's more a place of finding that neutrality. So we find that inner, deep inner peace. We hold the hands tight and tense. That'll start the alchemy upstairs in the brain working. And we do this for 11 minutes. We hold this posture very still very calm, very intentional for 11 minutes breathing in and out of the nostrils, holding what I feel to be a very Shiva posturing, very vertical, quite masculine in any ways, the, the consciousness that is, the consciousness is very masculine very vertical, very upright, very pillaresque. And the uh, energies that are going to be building because of the mudra, which is the shakti, which is the feminine part of us, is free to dance and leap and fold and twist and reach into any sabotaging energies that are causing these communication blocks. And that is the science. That is how it works. So remember people when you see this little video snippet you'll see uh, the caption beneath it the tuning in mantra Om Namo Gurudev Namo and the tuning out mantra which is Sat Nam and this keeps everything within the energetic umbrella uh, which is Kundalini Yoga, as coming from Yogi Bhajan. And so, solving your inner communication blocks. Satnam.